Did you know your speech habits could be giving you bad singing habits? In this video, I'm talking about what are bad speech habits, how can we replace them with better speech habits, and how can that impact our singing? Plus, side note, learning new speech habits is just gonna be better for your voice overall. It might make you sound more confident and it might even make you more successful. So there are a few really common pitfalls that I hear in speech that are gonna negatively impact your singing. And this isn't true for everyone, but I hear it pretty commonly across the board with men and women. And the first thing is that we tend to speak too low. So we associate lower sounds with more powerful sounds, um, more authority, etc. And so we start talking down here like this. And you might be talking down here like this and you might want to say to me, but this is just my voice. This is my natural voice. The argument I want to make to you is no, that's not your natural voice. That's your habitual voice and it's become natural because it's habit. So that's what habits are, right? They're things that we do without thinking about them. They feel relatively natural, right? Like brushing your teeth feels pretty darn natural, right? Move to the other hand, it probably doesn't feel natural anymore, okay? So there's a difference between something that's a habit versus something that's natural. And where your voice really wants to lie and where it habitually lies are oftentimes very different things. Now this is, again, not universally true for everyone, but most of us could benefit from speaking slightly higher. So here's what I wanna say about that. I know this feels scary. <laughs> I know you feel like you're gonna sound weird and that people are gonna look at you like, why is this person speaking this way? Uh, I doubt that's gonna happen. Okay, so a long time ago, I went through speech therapy to learn better speech habits because I talked down here like this, like a lot of people do. And I was really scared <clears throat> to move my voice up to this position here. But when you hear me talk down here like this, and then you hear me talk up here like this, doesn't this second version just sound more energized than the first version? Doesn't it sound more like me than the first version did, right? And you don't even know me, but you can tell that this doesn't really sound like me, right? Versus this sounds more like me. So I'm not asking you to make a huge jump here, but I am asking you to consider like, if I'm sitting down here in the basement, can I just move it here so that I talk here instead of here, right? So you might take a phrase, any phrase, whatever phrase you want. I'm gonna use the phrase, hi, how are you doing today? It should probably be more than two or three words. That's the only caveat. So I'm gonna just say it in my old speaking voice. Hi, how are you doing today? So I'm down here. Hi, how are you doing today? Say, say it a few times in what feels natural. And then move it a little higher and say, Hi, how are you doing today? And try that on. You might even record yourself and listen back and you might be surprised by how natural that higher sound actually is. So speech habit number one to break is placing your voice lower than is actually natural for it and moving it just a little bit higher into a more energized sound. Okay, the second bad speech habit I hear is living in a vocal fry. Now, I love a vocal fry. It can teach lots of things. I use vocal fry as a resource all the time when I'm teaching singing. And sometimes it's a really nice effect when you're singing of like, uh, 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 right? It's another register in your voice and it's one that we sometimes wanna use. We don't wanna use it all the time. So what I hear often is people speaking down here like this. Oh my gosh, if you listen to public radio, somebody being interviewed always is talking like this and it drives me bananas. <laughs> okay, and so we say, well, my voice is just tired. Mm, maybe, but my guess is you're tired and you don't, you're not giving it enough energy. And when we don't give things enough energy, they don't get up and forward. They sit down and back. Vocal fry sits here, like down and back in our throat versus up and forward. So even if your voice is tired, give it, help it along then by giving it the support and the energy it needs. 
rather than kind of sitting down here and just kind of pressing on it over and over again, because this is gonna make your voice even more tired. So how are you gonna get out of this vocal fry land? <laughs> Number one, speak higher. Like we talked about in the previous part of this video. Number two, add twang. So the way I like to practice adding twang is by using lots of nasal consonants. So you're gonna say the phrase, Ma mama made some lemon jam, but I want you to really exaggerate the M's. Are there any N's? I don't think so. If there's N's, exaggerate those as well. And it's gonna be, mama made some lemon jam. Make sure you're doing it a little higher than feels natural and that you're really lengthening those M's. Mama made some lemon jam. So the M kind of shows you like, oh, I can, I can resonate here. I can feel the vibration, the sound here. That's where I kind of want to put the vowel. Ma, mama versus ma, 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 which falls down in my throat. And yes, it's all coming from your throat, but it's like I feel the resonance here versus feeling the resonance here. So the M's can show you the path. Mama made some lemon jam. And then really try to lengthen the vowels, right? And then once you've got a handle on, okay, this is where I'm feeling the sound, then that's where you're gonna try to put your speech, right? So you might go back to, hi, how are you doing today? And if I was, hi, how are you doing today? And that's the place where that vocal fry happens a lot is the very last word. Hi, how are you doing today? How are you doing today? Right? Instead, hi, how are you doing today? Today, right? And isn't that gonna be a prettier sound to sing on? Today, today, versus today, today, right? Um, and again, vocal fry is a great thing to use intentionally in your singing, but if you are living down here all the time, it's A, gonna wear your voice out, and B, it's, it's cultivating a habitual way of producing sound that is under-energized. And so I bet you might struggle with higher pitches. I bet you might struggle with a certain part of your singing voice because you're, you don't fully know yet how to energize the sound. So twang can really help you energize the sound. Use your M's, use your N's. You could even sing, go, mama made some lemon jam, right? So you can feel what it's like to have that forward energy in the sound. So vocal fry, the other speech habit that's maybe not helping your singing. The last bad speech habit I often hear that might not be helping your singing is breathy speech. And again, nothing wrong with breathiness in, I would say, moderation or with intentionality, probably with intentionality. So if you want a breathy sound, great, right? You have Marilyn Monroe, like, happy birthday to you. If you want that, great, knock yourself out. But if you find that you struggle with power in your singing, look at your speech habits. How do you speak? Do you kind of speak like this? Then maybe we want to move away from some of the excessive breathiness in our speech toward a clearer, more powerful sound, right? So that you can then carry that with you into your singing voice. So First of all, this one I don't like hear unilaterally across the board with most people, it, but I hear it occasionally. Um, so you just wanna maybe record your voice speaking, say something and notice like, does it sound kind of breathy? If that's the case, then let's work on some stuff to kind of clear it up. So first I want you to just make a sound go, <sighs> really breathy, <sighs> and go, hi, how are you? Okay, so you can feel what's it like to really move a lot of air through my vocal cords. Now, make a really annoying sound, go eh, eh. Okay, now speak with that really annoying sound, go hi, how are you? Or like robot sound, hi, how are you? Okay, these are extremes, right? But if you wanna go from this extreme to something that's more like this, 
it might help to talk like this for a minute, okay? So practice speaking like, hi, how are you doing? Hi, how are you doing? And then back it off. Hi, how are you doing? Hi, how are you doing? Hi, how are you doing? Right, and you can kind of just back off the pressure until you land at something that sounds like a, a sound that you'd be comfortable making in front of other people. Okay, so good job, you guys. Those are the three speech habits that I hear that could potentially be negatively impacting your singing. So you wanna look out for, do I speak lower than maybe my voice is actually comfortable? That's really the number one. Number two, do I spend too much time in vocal fry? Number three, do I speak constantly with a breathy sound? And am I struggling with power in my singing? So look out for those three pitfalls. See if some of these speech habits and exercises can then help you achieve your singing goals. Happy singing.